What's going on YouTube? My name is Eddie P. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day as usual and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're hopping back on Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game three, and we're bouncing back into some online lobbies. And we're going to get into some crazy actions and some crazy battles. I just recently started making content and filming videos of me playing this game. I mean, I've been having so much fun with it. I've been playing motocross games literally my entire life. Um, and ever since I picked up basically a PlayStation 2 controller since I was 8 years old. But I'm just now starting to make content on this game. Um, and I have previously made like I think 2 or 3 videos. I think this is my 3rd video on Monster Energy Supercross. I'll leave the other 2 links down below if you want to see some more crazy action and some more online battles. But yeah, for today's video we're going to dive into some more online lobbies. Mix it up with some guys. Hopefully get some dubs for the video, some wins online. I have tons of different ideas that I can do with this game. Tons of challenges. Um, tons of different like... Um, race ideas, bike ideas, um, custom track ideas. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do with this game. Um, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed um, this content and stuff like that. And make sure you guys don't miss out on any of it. And if you're just coming to my channel because of this Motocross 3, um, Monster Energy Supercross 3, the video game, make sure you guys check out my actual real Motocross content of some outdoor motos, GoPro motos with Blake Baggett down at his ranch, 30 minute motos, quarantine motos, all that good stuff, Supercross edits of Blake riding. Um, Supercross and training down at the ranch. Um, we have a whole bunch of race day vlogs and stuff like that from all the Supercrosses that I've been to within like the past year and a half and stuff like that. Race day vlogs of outdoors and all that good stuff with Rocky Mountain and Blake Baggett and stuff. So if you guys want to check out my real motocross content, make sure you guys check it out. Once again, I'll leave a couple of the links down in the description below. But you got you guys have to go on the channel and check it out for yourselves. But yeah, we're going to hop straight into today's video, guys. If you do enjoy, be sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment for me down in the section below. Let me know what you want to see me do on this game. Um, give me some challenge ideas, what you think would be cool to see me do here on this game in some online lobbies. And if you're brand new to the channel or tuning in for your very first time, be sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Like I said, I have tons of ideas that I want to do here on this game. Challenge videos, online tracks, online lobbies, mixing it up with guys and all that good stuff. We also have a lot of motocross content. We're going to get ready here for outdoors pretty soon with Blake Baggett. So a bunch of outdoor motos, tons of GoPro stuff coming pretty soon. Some more edits and stuff like that. WW Ranch here in Florida is actually the second round of outdoors and I am going to that so there's going to be a race day vlog with Blake Baggett and Rocky Mountain here pretty soon once outdoors get started and I'm telling you guys you don't want to miss out on any of these videos so just hit that subscribe button we're getting so close to a thousand subscribers I think we're at like 980 or something like that once we get to a thousand subscribers we are doing a giveaway with Blake Baggett so you guys don't want to miss out on that either so hit that subscribe button stay tuned to the channel we're not straight into today's video and I'll catch you guys in the first race. Alright guys, so we're here in Daytona in some online lobbies and Daytona is literally my worst nightmare because of the one rhythm section. You'll literally see what I'm talking about, but we have a full lobby here, at least it was, oh my, that's why I hate collisions. But we at least had a full lobby um, back on the main page, so we'll see if it's still a full lobby. I like to roll on off here. It's easier to time this triple triple right here if you roll on off right there. Daytona is by far the hardest track in the game. It's this rhythm right here. I literally don't know what to do with this rhythm right here. I got it clean once, but I don't remember what I did. I stayed on top of all the tables. I don't know what I did to get on top of the first table, but I need to memorize that rhythm and always hit it, but hopefully we can figure it out in this race. If not, we're gonna try and make up as much time as we can everywhere else on the track, and hopefully everybody else fucks up that rhythm, to be completely honest with you. Looking good so far. Why is this guy coming onwards? Oh, we missed the roll on off. Oh my god, we're gonna have to double through here now. 
That's alright, I think everybody behind me messed it up also. I'm gonna launch the wall this lap. Oh, see, I was in fourth gear, so it just completely bogged and lost all my momentum there. But I think I'm onto something there with hitting that third one, that third jump in the rhythm. All I have to do is land on top of the first tabletop, and then I can stay on all three of the tables, and then I'm pretty sure that's the fastest way through that rhythm section. But I just need to figure out the way to get onto that first rhythm, or the first tabletop. This guy here in second seems pretty racy. See, like right now I'm hitting 118s. So I've hit a 114 before here on Daytona, and I just got landed on. But when I hit that rhythm section clean and everything else clean on the track, I can hit 114s on this track. But 118s is definitely not going to get it done right here in this online lobby. But, dude, this guy thinks this is bumper cars or what? Dude, let me just try and break away from them. Just hit all my lines as clean as I can. I love how in this game they let you play as actual teams. Like, of course, we're running the Rocky Mountain team. Alright, let's see if we can figure out this rhythm. We're gonna come right here. See, we gotta get on that table. There we go. That's the way through that rhythm right there. You gotta bounce off of that. I'm pretty sure it's the third jump. Yeah, that was clean. That's what we gotta do every single lap now. And I'm pretty sure they won't catch me. But yeah, I like how you can play as actual teams now in this game because, um, I don't know, it just makes it super sick. Obviously, we're running the Rocky Mountain graphics. If you haven't seen any of my Moto content here on the channel, guys, go check it out. But yeah, it's just super clean to actually have like the same bike that I have in real life in the game. So, makes it pretty cool. We still ran a 118 that last lap when I hit the rhythm. All right, let's see if we can fix that up a little bit. At least a 116 or 15. What do we do here? So we launch this, downshift to third, back up to fourth, preload on the table. See, we came up short that time. And then you rob all your momentum. And you just got a table double out. Getting on that table is so important for this track and for that rhythm section. Maybe I should choke up on the wall a little bit more so I have more momentum going into the rhythm section. And then all that momentum and that extra momentum hopefully can carry me all the way onto that table. Because I'm pretty sure we're like double quad on the table, which sounds ridiculous, but that's the quickest way through that rhythm section. There are some other cool rhythms you can hit on that with like, I'm pretty sure you can three in and then take the first table over two singles, so it's like a quad, but then it just keeps shooting you way too high, and then you can like three, four, four, something like that, but um, I just feel like when you quad on that rhythm section off of one of the tables, it just sends you way too high, so skimming on top of the tables is definitely the way to go, like I did that one lap. And that's what I'm trying to replicate, but we're obviously keep missing it. Oh, I forgot to choke up. Let's see if we can hit it though. Oh, close. A 117, we were able to hit that one lap. Oh, dude, something's itching me on my ear. My, I can't fix it inside of my headset. How many laps do we have left? Oh, this is the last turn right here. We got it done, boys. Once again, on top of these lobbies. But yeah, Daytona is definitely one of the toughest tracks because of that rhythm section. But we're going to keep hopping into some online lobbies and some new tracks. And I'll catch you guys in the next race.
All right, guys, so we're hopping into another online race, and we're on Anaheim 1, to me, which is another one of the hardest tracks in this game. I don't know what it is about Anaheim 1 in this game. I mean, it's like a simple layout. It's not anything too crazy, but some of the rhythm sections are just weird to hit and hit consistently. I mean, you can just double, 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 double your way through it, but, I mean, that's just not cutting it, and that's just way too slow. So... In this video, what a coincidence, we have two of the hardest tracks for me at least with Daytona in the first race and now we're in Anaheim 1, but we're in a full lobby here. I think there's a lot of fast guys in this lobby also. And then collisions are on, so I mean, all hell is about to break loose. Haven't played this game in a while, too. it's been like a solid couple of days or something, at least a week. But yeah, this is the first rhythm section right here that to me is a little bit wonky. Like, I mean, you can double in, but then, what the heck? I just quadded in over that guy's head, but like once you double in, you kind of don't get that pop that you need to kind of triple or whatever. And then if you try to triple in, it's just also super duper weird. I mean, once I get like, oh, I don't know why I rolled that first one. That was pretty damn stupid, but. I mean, that rhythm section right there is another one that's not too weird, but I mean, you can go double quad quad through there, but to hit that consistently is super hard, for me at least. But we're going to see what we can work with on those two rhythm sections. We're in fourth right now. We need to pick it up. Get up front, hit some good laps, and kind of just break away from these guys. Try and get two victories for today's video. Oh, that tunnel jump also throws you sideways. Like, it throws you a hard right sometimes, which is super weird. But, so yeah, you can double in here. I kind of case it, so I'm just going to keep doubling. And then right here, you want to triple, but it's like, it's so hard to get the pop. I, I don't know if it's something to do with my settings, like suspension settings or what, but. Freaking hell, just landed on tough blocks. That's a pretty consistent way to hit that rhythm, and I mean, I don't know how much faster or how much slower it is in the double quad quad, but I mean, it's definitely more consistent. So, like, if you want to keep hitting that double quad quad and you just keep casing it, I mean, you're just going to keep losing time. So, I like to just hit that consistent line right there. But I mean, I say this is one of my hardest tracks because um, I know people can hit like 58s and 59s on this track, uh, probably even lower than that. Like, super fast guys can probably hit 57s and 56. I've never been able to hit anything lower than a one flat on this track. I've never hit in a single 59 on this track, so I just struggle with A1 all around. And then Daytona also for me is super hard because of that one rhythm section like along the back side of it. But see, you can just double double your way through here, but I mean, that's just so slow. So I don't know when you're supposed to triple. I don't know what momentum or what rhythm you're supposed to hit through there. But we're going to see if we can make a run up on this guy for the win. Hopefully he makes a couple mistakes. We need to fix our lap time too. I mean a 105 is just not cutting it. That's way off pace. But I think this one right here should be a bit better. Yeah, a 101 and a 1 flat is basically what I run on this, run on this track every single time I play it. So... I don't know how you're supposed to hit a 59. I don't know how you can get any lower than a 59, like 58s, 57s. Like, that's just ridiculous to me. But this track, Daytona, definitely are the two that give me the most struggles in this game. It looks like up on this section, we, like, let's try to triple in here. See, if you triple in, it kind of like, oh, that wasn't too bad. And then triple out. I kind of bounced off the first triple in and... We're making so many mistakes right now. Oh my goodness. Get off the tough block. Alright, so I don't think the win is in for this video, for this uh, race, but we're going to try and at least secure our second place. we got to pass this red guy back. we got to figure out that stupid rhythm in the back. If we figure that out, I think we'll be fine. 
all through here we're good just make sure this thing doesn't buck you hard right Oh, we went two, three, three, two. That was pretty good right there. But why did I get the pop that time and I didn't any other time? I don't understand. I feel like that rhythm is just super inconsistent for me. I'm so tempted to hit the, the two, four, four line like that guy just did in front of me, but I don't want to case it and lose any more time because I'm trying to catch up to at least second. And the second place guy is getting close to first, so... We might have ourselves a three-way battle for the win here at the end if we keep tightening up here. And we just hit a one flat, and that's just about the fastest I'm ever going to go on this track. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit a 59. And we have ourselves the first lapper. Oh! Get back on the whoops. Too many mistakes here, man. Too many mistakes. Let's see if we can hit this again. We went two... Ah, uh, see, no pop that time. I don't understand. We're just going to have to double-double our way through again. And these guys are gapping me pretty big. Dude, I'm riding like an absolute goon. We got ourselves some more lappers. And that cow, we just lost the lead. Hopefully they can take each other out. Oh, that's the end of the race? Oh, that was pretty quick. But we ended up in third. Nobody in this lobby hit any 59s or anything like that. I actually hit the fastest lap? I did with a one, one flat point one eight. So I hit the fastest lap, but made way too many mistakes to hit the front But to get the win in this video but that's gonna wrap it up here in today's video i like keeping these online lobbies uh like videos to two races i mean if i put three i feel like it's gonna be a little bit too long because i mean one race takes about seven to eight minutes um so if i put three that's 21 minutes right there and i mean nobody's gonna sit here and watch me play this game for 30 minutes so two races i mean makes it pretty good but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you did enjoy be sure you smash that like button leave a comment for me down in the section below what kind of challenge videos you want to see me do. If you want to see me make some custom tracks. If you want to see me do some funny stuff here on this video. And on this video game. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Check out my Real Motocross content. Subscribe to the channel. Tons of Real Moto content coming out super soon. Um, outdoor motos, GoPros, all that good stuff. Race day vlog of WW Ranch coming super soon. Also second round of outdoors here in Florida. Um, so all of that is coming here to the channel super soon guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.